Choosing between the four different iPhone models is tough enough. If you're a mobile photographer or filmmaker, however, that utilizes moment lenses, then you know just how much more difficult this decision can be. In this video, I'm going to attach all six moment lenses to the iPhone 13 Pro Max and the iPhone 13 Mini so that you can see which one is best for you. Let's get started. Yo, 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 it's Joe from Photos with Phones. So before we start talking about moment lenses, I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly run through the differences between the 13 Pro Max and the 13 Mini. For one, the 13 Pro Max is much more expensive and the 13 Mini is not quite so expensive. The iPhone 13 Pro Max is going to have more storage, more battery, it has an additional telephoto camera, And then it also has some additional features within the native camera app. Most notably, these include the macro mode, ProRes video, and Apple's Pro Raw for photography. It is worth noting that the 13 mini does have the cinematic mode. I am not a huge fan of the cinematic mode, but I just figured that you would wanna know. If you do wanna learn more about cinematic mode and really anything about filmmaking on an iPhone, check out the video up in the top right-hand corner. I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the photos and videos that I took this morning. Before I show you the sample photos and videos, remember that the 13 Pro Max is going to have that additional telephoto lens that is going to be a three times optical zoom option. The three times telephoto on the 13 Pro Max really, really adds to the arsenal that you can get with these moment lenses. And as a result, in my opinion, Opinion, I want the 13 Pro Max over the 13 Mini.
So you spend all this money on moment lenses and then you also have to make an additional purchase to mount the lens to the phone. Your options for mounting moment lenses to your phone are as follows. The M series case, which some of the M series case come with the mounting built in. The 13 minis case did not come with the mounting built in. And I actually had to purchase the, this little drop in lens mount thing. I'll show you on the screen right now how I attached all of that this morning, but just be very aware that if you have the 13 mini and you're buying moment lenses, you need to purchase the M series case and then you need to purchase this drop in lens mount. You also can use the moment lens adapter. I wasn't a huge fan of it when I tested it because it's really easy to get knocked off center and stuff like that. And then your final options are either the beast cage or the pro lens adapter from beast grip. The beast cage is going to be an iPhone only cage for your phone that is made specifically for the model of iPhone that you have, whereas the Pro Lens Adapter is going to be similar to the Beast Cage, but kind of adjustable. That's all we got for you. If you feel like you got value from this video, go ahead and hit the like button down there. It really helps photos with phones out a lot because it forces YouTube to show our videos to other people. Because of the algorithm. Comment which iPhone moment lens setup you like best. If the setup that you use looks a little different, tell me about it. I'd love to discuss. And as always, subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell. We're coming out with videos about mobile photography and filmmaking, tips, tricks, hacks, reviews, unboxings, anything that you could want to know if you like taking photos and videos on your phone. Toodles. See you in the next one. Bye. The next video that's going to come out on this channel is going to be a review and tutorial of the Moment Pro Camera app. If you follow the channel for a while, then you know that I prefer the Bscan Pro Camera app to the Moment Pro Camera app or Filmic Pro for that matter. I am looking to switch from Bscan to Moment Pro Camera app specifically for that log color profile. The reason I'm interested in that log color profile is I'm in the process of planning to shoot a full length documentary in May of next year and I would prefer to shoot it in log so that I have more control when color grading in post. The Moment Pro camera app has modes for photography, video, a slow shutter mode which is long exposure photography, and then a time lapse feature. All of which you have manual control which you do not have in the native camera app.